As the governing body of two-year collegiate athletics, the National Junior College Athletic Association serves over 500 member colleges and nearly 70,000 student athletes nationwide. At the top of the NJCAA governance structure is the NJCAA Board of Regents. The Board of Regents is made up of a board chair, vice chair, a men's senior administrator, a women's senior administrator, 24 regional representatives, six president's commission representatives, and up to six at-large members. The Board of Regents is the body within the association that votes on and approves legislative and bylaw changes. There are a number of committees within the association that focus on specific areas in order to make recommendations to the board. These committees include the Championship Events Committee, the Sports Governance Committee, and the Eligibility Committee. Each of these committees have the ability to develop and put forth proposals to be considered by the Board of Regents. These committees also vet proposals that are submitted to them by each sport committee. In the NJCAA, sport committees are charged with recommending any sport-specific rules the association will follow outside of NCAA rules which includes but not limited to playing rules and postseason procedures and policies, including championship formats. Individuals eligible to serve on sports committees include Board of Regents members, men's and women's region directors, men's and women's assistant region directors, and up to three at-large committee members nominated by the region. Each sport committee develops and maintains a sport code, which is found in the NJCAA handbook. If a sport committee would like to make any changes to its sports code, they would put forth a proposal that would be reviewed either by the Championship Events Committee or the Sports Governance Committee. The Championship Events Committee reviews championship host sites. The Sports Governance Committee reviews proposals pertaining to the sports procedures and all other sport-related issues. Sport committee members, regions, and NJCAA coaches associations have the ability to submit items for proposal by a respective sport committee or by the Championship Events Committee, Sports Governance Committee, or Eligibility Committee, depending on the scope and greater impact of the proposal. Individual athletic directors should work through their region and coaches should work with their respective coaches association to present concepts and seek wider sponsorship of a proposal. As an additional level of review and vetting, the NJCAA has established three divisional oversight committees. There is one divisional oversight committee for each division within the association, Division 1, 2, and 3. The divisional oversight committees review sport and eligibility proposals to evaluate divisional impact and provide feedback to the appropriate committee. The divisional oversight committees do not take any action on sport or eligibility proposals. The NJCAA has also established several councils, including the Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion Council, the Student Athlete Welfare and Safety Council, and the Student Athlete Council. Councils review issues regarding their areas of focus and provide updates and or recommendations to the NJCAA Board of Regents. Proposals to change eligibility bylaws are reviewed by the board only in October and April each year and those effective dates are for the next academic year. Proposals from the membership regarding eligibility bylaws are due by January 15th or July 15th. The NJCAA's governance structure is designed so that the appropriate committee and level of the structure is responsible for evaluating the advantages and disadvantages of any proposal. As a proposal moves up the structure, the review body should have confidence that the lower committee has evaluated potential impacts and is only proposing concepts that will benefit student athletes and the association. With so many levels within the NJCAA governance process, let's take one final look at the overall structure. At the top, the NJCAA Board of Regents makes all final approvals for legislative changes or implementations. Committees including the Championship Events Committee, the Sports Governance Committee, and the Eligibility Committee are able to submit proposals for the Board of Regents to review and take action on. The Divisional Oversight Committees provide feedback to these groups in line with each divisional philosophy based off the proposals from sports committees. Sports Committees members, regions, and NJCAA coaches associations 
are able to develop and submit sports committee proposals for review, allowing athletic directors and coaches to submit ideas. As a membership organization, the NJCAA relies on input and feedback from individuals within the association at various levels, including coaches, administrators, athletic directors, and presidents, in order to shape the association's continued growth. The NJCAA thanks you for your continued dedication to the association and its student athletes. Together, we can continue to provide opportunities for nearly 70,000 two-year collegiate student athletes around the country. For questions on the NJCAA governance process, please contact membership at njcaa.org.